Hi there, I'm Jack from Twinkle and today we're looking at how to draw a self-portrait. Some activities and resources children can use to have a go at drawing their face and features, as well as some self-portraits with a twist. Start off with this step-by-step -step instruction sheet, or this instructions PowerPoint, both of which lead you through the process of drawing a face. The instruction sheet is a simpler pictorial view of the steps needed, perfect as a resource to have to hand for your learners, perhaps for those who've drawn a face before and just need a reminder of the steps. And for total beginners, the instructions PowerPoint is perfect as it walks through the process slowly, explaining and describing each step in turn. Put this presentation on display and have your learners work through the steps. How else can you approach practicing how to draw a face? Why not try tracing over a photograph of yourself? Using tracing paper, your learners can trace over their own face, following the steps of drawing and paying close attention to their facial features. Your learners could also try a live drawing of their own reflection. Using a mirror and a washable felt pen or marker, they can trace over the features of their face. Simply close one eye and closely study the contours and features of your face as you trace these. Finally, open your eye and draw it in. And to learn more about how to draw a face, check out this series of video lessons from Twinkle Teacher Ashley about drawing facial features before moving on to more advanced techniques like shading. Once your learners have had a go at drawing some faces, they can have a go at this inner self and outer self portrait activity, a chance to make a truly personal and visually interesting self portrait. Start off by drawing half a self portrait. This is your outer self. You'll continue your drawing on the other half of the activity by drawing your inner self. And as you can see in the example, you'll be using objects and colors that represent your hobbies, dreams, emotions and memories to draw the other half of your face. For example, I might draw a football as an eye to represent my love of sport, a seagull as an eyebrow to represent memories of times spent at the seaside, musical notes coming out of my ear to represent my love of music, my hair as clouds to represent being creative and a dreamer, and so on. To finish, here are a few other quick activities your learners can try. This creates a family portrait activity tasks your child with drawing the portraits of members of their family. Use Twinkle's range of resources on Andy Warhol and learn about Colour Wheel to try turning your self-portraits into pop art. Or perhaps try drawing a self-portrait in a different style, like with this anime drawing pack. Thank you very much for watching, make sure to comment or review if you found these resources useful. Join us again soon.